this week, I'm going to try and distort the way we look at things for my 52 frames challenge of the week, distortion. So some weeks, I spend hours doing research for my photo. And then other weeks, I go for breakfast at a mall and the opportunity just falls in my lap. But before we get to my photo of this week, I would just like to mention a few ways that you can distort a photo in a creative way. My first and favorite is ICM or in-camera movement or long exposures that create that blurry soft effect. The second one is to shoot through something. Some people even use Vaseline to put it on a camera filter to create that extra blurry softness, especially for portrait uh, photography. And although there are many more, the one I'm going to end with for today is reflection because that's the one I'll be shooting this week. So I would like to start by mentioning that I think Dubai Mall has got the biggest night store in the world. I couldn't confirm this fact, so if it's not the biggest, it's one of the biggest. Top 5 or even 3 in my opinion. The 3290 square meter store has the most fascinating storefront. The glass is covered by some kind of colored reflection um, topping or glass that creates these um, bright, funky reflections. a balanced composition between the interior that comes through as well as the reflection of the exterior and create a composition that works well for that. recommendation of my husband, I decided to insert an extra little piece into my video. And that is a tip, a trick or a lesson I've learned during that week. Well, my trip or trick for this week is rules are there to be broken. I usually prefer using the vibrant slider over the saturation slider. The saturation just makes the colors a bit wonky. If I use the saturation, it's usually to decrease the saturation and to increase the vibrancy. That gives a much more balanced, natural color tone to your photos. This week, I decided to throw that rule out the window and go to town with my saturation slider. The profile and the photos just ask to enhance that crazy color. Since it's a crazy composition, crazy photo, I really, really went all out with the saturation to make the colors pop even more. And even if it does look a bit wonky, the whole photo is wonky, so I really didn't mind that too much. I've lost count of how many 52 frames photos I've taken in Dubai Mall, and I doubt that this will be my last. Although these photos are a very different look to my regular photos that I usually take, and it still doesn't feel like I've got my look just yet. So I'm still all over the show, but this really is an exceptional out there look. 
I am fairly happy with the fun, bright, um, pop kind of photos I produced. Thank you Dubai Mall once again for stepping up and giving my photo of the week. For my next video, I'm back home with my macro lens. Thank you for watching and see you then.